Hi, my name is Doug Wong, and I'm a senior application engineer with Keoxia. So the question I would like to answer today is, why was NAND flash invented? So uh, NAND flash is a type of um, memory that's non-volatile, and it's really a mass storage device. Um, well, the dream of creating a non-volatile mass storage memory has existed really since the beginning. And um, there's kind of a long history to this, so let me start from the beginning. There were a lot of different types of non-volatile memory that existed before um, even flash memory was created. Um, the first ones were uh, mass ROMs, and that's when the code was actually sent to the manufacturer and manufactured as part of the chip itself. So it was certainly read-only memory, you know, ROMs, but it was um, unerasable. The user couldn't do anything about it. So those are the first types of non-volatile memory, uh, ROMs. Eventually, um, people did want to be able to alter the data themselves, so uh, EPROMs were invented. These were erasable, programmable, read-only memories. And these uh, types of EPROMs uh, required ultraviolet light to erase. So you could program, the user could program them, but they would have to sit them, put them under uh, ultraviolet light source for like 15 minutes, and that would uh, enable them to erase the chip. Um, EE proms followed after this. Those were electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memories. And those were um, basically like EEPROMs, but you could erase them electrically. And then finally, uh, back in uh, 84 for NORFLASH and 87 for NANFLASH, uh, Toshiba created uh, flash memory devices. Now, the word flash actually isn't an acronym, is not an acronym for anything, but it does um, describe the fact that you could erase these EE proms in bulk all at once in like one second, and you didn't need an ultraviolet light source. So, uh, Toshiba created NORFLASH in uh, 84 and NANFLASH in uh, 87, and these types of memories. Um, are uh, what really allowed the user to program and erase electrically in a, in a very fast amount of time. That eventually became the least expensive type of non-volatile memory, and that was when the dream of this non-volatile mass storage memory um, finally became realized.